Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to do a couple speed tests in Photoshop and some line tests in Photoshop on the Surface Go 2 and the Surface Go. This is the original base model. It's the 4 gigabyte, uh, 64 gig uh, eMMC hard drive. And this is the M3 model, 8 gigabyte with 128 gig uh, SSD. Obviously, this should be much faster. How much faster is it than the Surface Go? And uh, either way, you're going to see performance on this inside of Photoshop, and then whether you care that it's compared to the Surface Go uh, original model or not, it's still going to give you information. So hopefully you find that useful. Uh, if you have a tablet that runs Windows 10, you use a stylus or you use a touchscreen, this is a great channel for you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the notifications icon as well. We're going to do a 50 pixel brush. We're going to check a couple settings because these actually matter quite a bit. So we're going to tap on here. Oops, make sure this performance is set all the way to best performance. Let's check this one set to best performance. Ooh, that was important. And we're going to click on here. We're going to go to the Surface app and make sure that our pressure levels are set to the same pressure setting. Seven is where we want to keep it. Check over here, seven. So if you have this set to lighter pressure, it's going to make a thinner line. The thinner line uses less pixels and is faster. So it matters. Now you notice smoothing is set to zero. Smoothing is actually off here, and I'm not sure why, but it, it is. Both screens are set to 50% brightness. You actually can tell, or I can tell, that the Surface Go 2 screen is brighter. Uh, there's a pixel or resolution difference between the screens as well, where this one is um, 9, 1800 by 1200. Uh, this one's 1920 by 1280. So that will play a little factor, but it actually won't matter because you're not going to change that anyway. It's kind of mostly set in stone. All right, let's go ahead and start with the test. All right, in both of those, it was about the same. Okay, we're using the Tablet Pro Pen Tool Map to Control Z to um, undo that. Okay, let's go up here and let's put this up at 500. Actually, this will be easier if we just 500. And let's go up here. All right, 500 pixels. Here we go. You can see a little bit of lag over here. Let's move this up to 2000. And over here, same thing. Uh, we're using the soft brown brush. Uh, pixel canvas is three or five, 10,000 by 10,000 on both. Uh, the stylus, I'm using the R520 two button stylus. This one is my preference. Uh, and you're gonna get very similar results with the surface stylus and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in this video as well. Uh, but I like this one because I can remap more to the sides. All right, 2000 by 2000. This one was clearly 64% faster. That's a joke. It was quite a bit faster than that, actually. Okay, 5,000 by 5,000. All right, I do not recommend this. If you want to draw, draw with 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, then I recommend using Paint to Sci. Actually, that was pretty good. Normally, this does not go this fast. We'll try it one more time. 
Okay, significant difference between the two machines. Okay, we're gonna adjust the color and adjust the color. All right, let's give this a shot again. Hmm. Pretty good. The last time I demonstrated this or I was doing this, I had um, Ori and the Will of the Wisp installing in the background, and I think that made a bit of a difference. It was actually pretty good. Okay, so you can see the difference between the two machines. Let's go ahead and jump into a line test. All right, we're going to do our line jitter test. Uh, we're going to start with the surface styluses. Now this one has the uh, soft HB tip. This has the hard tip. We're going to test with both. We're going to do three lines. One, two, three. One, two, three. That looks horrible. And I'm not sure if it's just a difference between stylus to stylus, like natural variance between the same ones with a different tip. Oh, it's considerably worse. All right, let's take this tip out and replace it. Let's see if it's a stylus. Or if it's the tip. Accidentally sampled the color. Hmm. Could be wrong, but it does seem like that tip is making a difference. The hard tip versus the HB tip, uh, which is not something I've ever tested before. Okay, let's use the um, R520 stylus. So interesting. And this one, it seems to get a pressure response where it's, it's actually not supposed... Oh, nope, it is turned on accidentally. All right, let's do the second one. Yeah, it's interesting, this has got um, that original hooking problem uh, with the Surface Go, original Surface Go, and you can see it here, like some fake tapering in the beginning. All right, we're going to go ahead and move to a pressure test. So this is our jitter test. And let's turn on pressure on both. And we're going to move over. Well, that's a massive difference. Yeah, I'm not sure 
what that's about, but it's definitely reading better. All right, so it looks like the um, pressure curve for the pen is, is definitely better. Uh, my original thoughts were that this would be um, also a, a 1,024 uh, levels of pressure for the pen or the stylus. I might be wrong. It may be that this has been increased or just improved, but it does seem better for sure over the Surface Go uh, original. All right, that's it for this test. Uh, I will be doing a lot more tests with the Surface Go 2 and hopefully eventually the Surface Book 3, and kind of going through some of the same uh, things as in this test. If you guys like this channel, please subscribe again. Uh, please also subscribe. <laughs> and uh, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.